Hello everyone and welcome back to Revis Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. It's a nice and quick one again today. We'll be looking at how to create floor and roof layers with variable thickness. If you look at this one here, this yellow floor layer is thicker on the left hand side and much thinner on the other side. So that's how we can create it again from scratch. To start over, I will just select this floor and click on Reset Shape. Delete dimensions, that's fine. Okay, let's see this floor in 3D first. We can select it and do the selection box. Here we go. The first step now is to define which floor layer in this structure should have variable thickness. We can now go to Edit Type and then Edit Structure. You can see now our floor has four layers. Now let's make at least one of them variable in thickness. I would say we go for this structure one soft wood lumber layer here. Feel free to choose another one up to your design actually. So for this layer I can select this line and then select this box under its variable column. Click OK to finish and then OK again. If I now go back to my section view, it looks the same because the floor is now completely flat. Let's give it some slope. Now, you may know there are different ways you can slope a floor in Revit, but only one way now can give us variable layer thickness. It won't work if you slope the floor the traditional way. For example, if I select this, I can see under floor footprints, there's one line there defining the slope. I can now change the slope to be something else other than 0 degrees, maybe 5 degrees. Make the section box bigger so I can see it. So now it's sloping. But if I check in here and also in section, I can see my layers, they still maintain their original thicknesses. This is not the way to do it. Let me undo a few steps. The other method we need to use instead is sloping it by sub-elements. I can now select this floor, go to Modify Sub-elements, and now I'm free to pick either a point on the floor or one of its edges. Let's say I want to raise this edge, so just select it. There'll be a small number there you can input. Let's change that to 300. That means this edge will be 300 mil higher than the other edge on the other side. Click enter to finish. And now, if I look at it from the side, I can see we're in the right direction. Let's go back to this section to check it out. And here we go. Now that's a 3D sloping floor. I can of course continue and place some spot slope dimensions on there. Nice. It's a similar process to do the same for a flat roof. If I now go back to 3D and just see everything in my model now, how about we create a roof now by footprint? Maybe like that. Again, we shouldn't do it by specifying slopes from the sketch. That wouldn't do. I can now undefine slopes, finish my roof. And just like before, we need to make sure at least one layer here has variable thickness. How about this one? I'm going to tick this box. OK. By the way, you can only choose one layer to have variable thickness for obvious reason. Next step, modify sub-element. And this time, instead of raising an edge, I'm going to raise this point here. How about by 500 mil? We can now check it out in a section. Let's make one right here. That's our roof right there. We can isolate it, show all the layers. And as you can see, this is the layer with variable thickness. If you like videos like this every single day, subscribe to this channel. For now, practice this new technique and I'll see you in the next video.